Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here, and welcome to another review of the Pokemon Journeys series. Today we're going to be covering episode 117, the Iris vs. Cynthia battle. So, who won and how was this battle overall? Did it deliver? Well, before I get into the episode review, you guys know the drill. If you're new to the channel, you'd like this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I cover the Pokemon Journey series on a weekly basis as long as the episodes release. I also cover upcoming episode titles and summaries and episode discussions. And I also do some live streams, usually on Mondays and Wednesdays. So yeah, you should probably subscribe to the channel. Anyways, uh, let's get on with this episode review, shall we? So the battle starts between Iris and Cynthia, with Iris taking out her exit drill and Cynthia taking out her gasp for dawn. And I thought this was a pretty interesting matchup. Cynthia seemed to have the advantage for most of the match because she used Rain Dance in combination with Muddy Water to get the advantage over Exedrill. But Exedrill comes through in the end. As Iris uses a very risky strategy during that Muddy Water, which he, she has Exedrill use Horn Drill, a one-hit KO move, which manages the land, which results in Iris getting the first W here. Kind of similar to what happened in the Lance vs. Diantha battle. I'm sensing a bit of a pattern here. But anyways, moving on, Cynthia takes out her second Pokemon, Militic. Which Militic here is the MVP of this match. You see, Militic makes quick work of Exadrill. Even though Iris tries to do some damage on Militic, yeah, it instantly uses Hydro Pump and just takes out Exadrill. And boom, just like that, Exadrill is down. So Iris has lost her first Pokemon. So she takes out Dragonite as her second Pokemon. You'd think Dragonite would probably last for a little while. Dragonite's going to do some damage here. I mean, we just had Lance's Dragonite in the previous episode hanging there for a while, so surely Iris's Dragonite would hang in here for a while too. Nope. Despite getting the advantage early by hitting Militic with a Thunder Punch, yeah, this doesn't last. Militic uses Disarming Voice, which, uh, yeah, that's not good for Dragon types and then immediately curls around Dragonite and hits it straight in the head with an iron head. Yeah. Like, literally point blank, right in the head, iron head. Pretty much giving D Dragonite over here a concussion and instantly KOing it. And just like that, Iris is down to her last Pokemon. So Iris, down to her last Pokemon, takes out Haxorus, her ace. And it's actually revealed that it was her last Pokemon when she was going up to become champion of the Unova region. And it's because of Haxorus over here that she's now champion. So I thought that was an interesting tidbit. But anyways, Haxorus is very powerful. I think this Pokemon has gotten stronger since its battle against Ash. Because Haxorus, yeah, takes out Miltic really easily. It frickin' tanks, disarming voice, and a Hydro Pump, and hits it with a breaking swipe which looks very painful. And I love how Cynthia is just standing there as Miltic just flies up in the air and just lands behind her. She literally doesn't flinch. Kind of shows how scary Cynthia is. But anyways, Miltic is down. So now Cynthia is down to her final Pokemon. So it's the final matchup in this battle between Iris and Cynthia. Haxorus versus Garchomp. Both trainers aces. And yeah, this is uh, quite a battle. Because Haxorus, despite how strong Garchomp is, actually holds its own against Garchomp. And at one point in the first part of the battle, it actually hits its head on the ground to snap itself out of confusion after using Outrage. Which I thought was pretty interesting. It seems like uh, Iris over here has picked up a thing or two from Ash and has unpredictable battle strategies. So I thought that was cool. So Cynthia, in response to all this, Mega Evolves her Garchomp. Which, that was pretty awesome. And despite Mega Evolving Garchomp, Haxorus is still holding its own against Garchomp, which I thought was crazy. It even hits Garchomp point blank with a Dragon Pulse. Although this is not quite enough to defeat it, it does take some critical damage here. So, yeah, the final matchup here is Mega Garchomp using Draco Meteor, and Haxorus attempting to stop this with Dragon Pulse. And, yeah, I like how Iris is basically in tune with her Pokemon here and tries to take out the Draco Meteor. However, it's not able to destroy all the rocks heading towards it. And, unfortunately, Haxorus ends up getting hit and falls with Cynthia winning the match and advancing to the semifinals. 
And with that said, we're moving on to the final matchup in the quarterfinals of the Pokemon World Championships Masters 8 Tournament. Ash versus Steven, as this episode comes to an end. So overall, I thought this was another fantastic episode. In fact, I actually enjoyed this episode more than last week's episode. And that's saying a lot, because I really like Diantha versus Lance. So the fact that Iris versus Cynthia I felt was even better than that, yeah, that says a lot. So I guess they got the worst matchup and the worst match in the Masters 8 tournament out of the way, because it's been going up since then. I'm a little nervous about Ash versus Steven, but we'll see what happens when that episode airs next week. But for now, we're on a roll, because we had two solid battles in a row. And I thought this was a really interesting battle. It shows how powerful Iris is now. She defeated two of Cynthia's Pokemon. This is Cynthia, the number two trainer in the world. She actually was doing really well against her. So it goes to show that she's really powerful now. Even though Ash did defeat her before, she can still hold her own against someone like Cynthia. So it's going to be interesting to see how well Ash fares against Cynthia. Because yeah, let's just face it, Ash is defeating Steven. Now, just like the previous two episodes, we got some cool continuity nods and some cameos that appeared in this episode. So starting out with the cameos, we had several here. So on Cynthia's side, we had Paul and Reggie watching the match, which I thought was pretty nice. It's interesting that Paul's back home with his brother. So I thought that was pretty cool. So he'll probably be watching Ash's match next. <laughs> well, why am I saying he's watching this battle? So of course he's gonna watch Ash's match. But anyways, we also had Flint and Volkner watching too, so I thought that was pretty nice. But on Iris's side, this is where things get really interesting. So obviously Drayden's watching the match, which that's cool, but we already saw Drayden once in Journeys before with the Ash versus Iris battle way back when. But we also got some really cool cameos of characters we haven't seen in a long time. Characters from Best Wishes, Ash's rivals, Bianca, Trip, and Stefan. That was pretty cool. We also saw Iris's rival, Georgia. So neat. And also Alder was watching the battle. I mean, I don't really care so much for Alder these days since he's no longer champion, but you know, he's there too. So yeah, that's cool. I'm not really sure why Silent didn't appear here to be watching this battle. I thought that was kind of odd. Maybe they're saving him for the Ash versus Steven battle when they have several cameos for that battle. Not really sure, but I thought it was a little weird that he didn't show up here to watch it. Like, why not just show him? At least for like a split second or something. That's probably my only nitpick when it comes to the cameos, but we'll see if Silent does appear for a cameo in next week's episode. Now another continuity nod I liked in this episode is the fact that Team Rocket recognized Iris. And you'd think that they'd be berating her, just calling her like a twerp or whatever, but no, they actually praise her. They actually recognize that she's gotten a lot stronger since Ash's travels in Unova when they were going after Ash's Pikachu in that series and I like how they're praising her and they're basically like yeah look at how far she's come it's because of all the training she did with us you know implying that all the battles that uh, Iris had against Team Rocket during Best Wishes made her stronger so I thought that was pretty nice and when she lost they're like oh my gosh she lost she did so well she came so close to winning but, you know, losing will make only make you stronger, just like us. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was really cool that Team Rocket was cheering on for Iris. I don't know. I, thought it, I just thought it was really nice. And finally, I love the fact that Iris referenced her battle with Cynthia back in Best Wishes when Haxorus was an accident. I don't know. Something about that was really nice. It sh really shows how far Iris has come from back then. And she's even taken some of Cynthia's advice and has grown stronger as a result. So that probably was the greatest continuity nod to there. That really goes for Iris' development. Like, if I'm being honest, I'm not really a big fan of Iris, at least how she was portrayed in Best Wishes. But Journeys has basically given her, like, a whole new, like, character, like, upheaval. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, she is such a good character now. Like, I really love what Journeys has done with Iris. If there's one character that has benefited from Journeys, it's definitely Iris. So yeah, this, this continuity nod was really cool. Now, I don't think this is quite a perfect episode, but my only real complaint 
I'm, I'm, I don't even know if I'd call it a complaint, it's more of a nitpick, is the fact that Dragonite went down so easily. Like, Exadrill, it already went down really fast. But the fact of the matter is, Dragonite went down just as easily. If, if not even easier than Exadrill. At least Exadrill had a KO. Dragonite didn't get anything. Miltic literally got two KOs right in a row here. So, I don't know. It's kind of disappointing. If I remember correctly, Dragonite hasn't gotten a single win in, like, forever. Even since Best Wishes. So, yeah, in Journeys, it lost in its battle against Ash, and it lost here. Obviously, it's probably one off screen, but... Well, from what we've seen on screen, all it's done is lose. And this loss is particularly painful. So, yeah, I wish this was a little bit longer. I know we just had a Dragonite battle in the previous episode, but still, I think Iris's Dragonite should have lasted a little bit longer. Just me. Just, just my personal opinion here. But anyways, that's all I got for this episode review. So overall, I thought this was a really good episode. It's my favorite battle so far in the Masters 8. Out of the three that we've gotten so far. So I'm going to give this episode a 9 out of 10. A very solid episode. I definitely recommend checking it out. So in the comment section down below, post your thoughts. What do you think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What do you think about Iris versus Cynthia? Did you love this battle? Was there more you would like to see? Or were you satisfied with it? Post your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And guys, have a good day or night wherever you're at, and I'll see you all later. Bye.